All right, everybody, and welcome to this video. It's a, it's gonna be just a, a short video that'll demonstrate the tone of two pickups that I really love. My favorite pickup of all time is the DiMarzio Tone Zone. I absolutely love that pickup because it's all about the harmonics combined with the articulation, the overall character, the all vowel sound of the, of the mid-range, like a scooped mid-range on the tone zone. You get a really good character, tonal character. And another reason I like the DiMarzio tone zone is that for years I've said that you could put it into a popsicle stick and it would sound good. Literally, you could put it into a cheap guitar and it would sound amazing. So what I have here, boom, DiMarzio tone zone. Let me make sure it's being recorded properly. That's the F space DiMarzio tone zone. See that? Beautiful. Absolutely love this pickup. Now you're probably wondering, well, it's not in your guitar. How can you hear it? Well, I had it in my guitar. I actually had a black and cream one that was regular spacing. That's where this all started. I started upgrading my Stratocaster and I decided to you know, stick a tone zone in there. And you might think I'm an idiot, but I've, I've been playing guitar for 15 years. Yes, I had a four-year hiatus that I'm just coming out of. Well, that's not an excuse. I'm just telling you that I'm aware of the fact that I need F spacing. But to be honest, I, whenever I bought the regular spaced version of this pickup, I was assuming that F space meant Floyd Rose spacing. My guitar does not have a Floyd Rose. It's just a standard tremolo. It's very standard normal tremolo system. It's not a Floyd Rose at all. So I thought that it was Floyd, but Floyd Rose, but F stands for Fender spacing. I didn't even Google it uh, so much as Google it, because the last time I was changing pickups, it was probably about 10 years ago. All right, I surrendered, just saying. Um, so yeah, that's my guitar currently. This is the Eddie Van Halen Wolfgang pickup. Bone, Wolfgang, obviously the bridge pickup. Wolfgang baby, this thing is insane. I love this pickup. And it's actually kind of annoying how much I like it because guess what, it's regular spaced. It said on sweetwater.com that this was gonna be F spaced, but no, it's not. You can tell, look at the E string. It's not even close. It's not even close in terms of the pull post alignment. The string's not over the pull, look at that. See that? All right, so this thing still sounds good. Actually, there's a really um, good video that I'm not gonna provide a link of because I can't remember what it was, but essentially it was a guy that had the same pickup. I don't know what it was, whether it was a Tone Zone or some Seymour Duncan JB, I don't care. But what he was doing was he did a tone demo both before and after it was at a F space. So he had a regular space pickup into a guitar that had a Floyd Rose, he played it, demonstrated the tone and immediately after he did a tone demo of the F spaced version and let's be honest even he said this he even he said so that it's completely unnoticeable it's not a noticeable difference okay that is something I firmly agree with I believe that there's no difference but there's a couple things first of all I believe firmly that even though I just said there's no difference I think that it could affect sustain you now tone is, is, I'm gonna separate sustain from tone. Obviously sustain is part of the tone, but by that by tone I mean the sound of the pickup. You know, so sustain is a little bit different. I believe firmly that if it's not directly above the pull post and it's vibrating, it's gonna affect the sustain. I'm just saying, I could be wrong. So that's kind of why I want to put the tone zone back in there, because this is the proper F-spaced version. This is F-spaced obviously, so that would be appropriate that would be the right size for this guitar but um yeah i just i really like the tonal character of the eddie van halen pickup it sounds incredible it's got really really good clear it's all about like the uh, the upper register like when i when i first put this uh, pickup in there i pulled the d or d5 whatever you want a deep power chord and it just sounds incredible. It screams. It almost sounds too hot, but it's not. It's really reined in when you actually play it. It's Alanico 2. It sounds hot and out of control, but it's not. See, I do a lot of um, 
Zelda Link stuff. I'm one of those wannabe Eddie Van Halen guys. So this is essentially my Frankenstrat. So following this rambling rant will be two examples of me playing uh, with this pickup, the Eddie Van Halen pickup, and also the DiMarzio Tone Zone, but it'll be not F space, it'll be the original spacing. And I, I just got this in the mail today, so I'm gonna decide finally whether or not today I'm gonna make the final decision if I want to change this one last time. The last time I ever changed the bridge pickup, I am next month planning on putting a, um, a satch track in the neck or an injector, the Paul Gilbert injector, but I might just do the satch track uh, and get some nice humbucker tones out of the neck pickup there. Uh, so yeah, but other than that, I'm, I really just want to make up my mind. And I might just, um, to be honest, just, when I factor in the different parameters, how close the tone is, uh, when I factor in another parameter, the fact that it's annoying as hell, I take this thing out, it's so annoying to remove the pickup. I'm good at it, I know how to do my job and take off the face, you know, the pick guard and, and remove the pickup and solder it in there, but it's just a pain in the ass, so and that's something to consider, you know, I could just be lazy, just keep this thing in there and it would be done, but part of me is kind of annoyed that it's not F-spaced. You know, I said five seconds ago that it doesn't really matter, but I just wish this thing were freaking F-spaced because it would just, I think it would sound a little bit better. I could be wrong, but... It is what it is. It's not F space, but I might just keep it in there. It's a hundred and seventy dollar pickup. You know, hundred and fifty technically, but you know, roughly one one fifty, one seventy for this pickup. So that kind of influences my decision as well. Yes, I can get the money back, but the fact that I have a higher quality, like more expensive pickup in there, is tantalizing. It's not higher quality, but it's you know just as good as a Demarzio Tone Zone. Just as good. I love this pickup, but the only thing that's um, in that's convincing me to not put the tone zone back in there is the fact that let's be honest the tone zone has a lot of bass which is a good thing but it it kind of that influences the entirety of the tone it's a lot more bass but it's also a lot more articulate it's at least like let's say this let's pretend this is an 8 out of 10 on articulation the demarzio tone zone is a 10 out of 10 it's as articulate as you can possibly make a pickup you really hear the attack of your pick. You really can change the tone on that pickup just by picking differently. You can kind of get that with this, but a lot less in the softer register, more like in the, and like when you're picking hard, it kind of has that wah, wah, wah kind of character. This one here, the Eddie Van Halen pickup, it's got this vocal tone, which you'll hear in the in the demonstration. You'll hear this kind of wah, nah, nah, wah, nah, nah, wah. It's got a lot of attitude. And it kind of has that wah sound that this one has in the mid-range, but in the upper register. So like the higher notes for the Eddie Van Halen pickup have that kind of wah kind of uh, character, that screaming, all vowel sound, vocal type of singing character that this one has a lot more of in the mid-range. But this one has a lot more in the upper mid to treble range. That one mid and bass range. So it's, it's kind of apples to oranges at that point. And you have to ask yourself, which do you value more, more bass or more treble? I value more treble, to be honest, even though I do love how big my power chords sound, my big, you know, any, any of my chords doesn't have to be a power chord, be a full G chord, sounds huge, sounds huge. But with this one, it sounds more screaming and hot. And when you do, especially the D, I remember, I'll never forget when I first pulled the D, on the Eddie Van Halen pickup, it sounds almost too hot. So, whoa, that's out of control. It's as hot as it can get without it sounding too crazy. But it's not. It's got a lot of, it, it really rains in me doing single notes. It really sounds good. It's got a lot of character and a lot of, uh, a lot of bite. A lot of bite to it and a lot of tonal character. So I might just keep this thing in there, but you guys tell me what you think uh, after listening to this uh, tone demo. All right, guys, and enjoy, and be gentle. Remember, this is the internet. You usually, anyone that's not a perfect guitar player gets shredded. Oh, you're playing sucks, you're sloppy. I don't care, fuck you guys. All right, I'm sloppy, so what, uh, fuck you. I'm playing with this amp, by the way, too. I'm using a, a where is it, a Fender Mustang Micro amp. So you can still you can still hear the pickup you get, but it's not a, very high quality uh, tone you're gonna get, so be gentle on me, but it's definitely worth watching this video 
if you want to see a tone comparison. All right, so enjoy, guys. Now, let's hear the tone zone, my favorite pickup. Let's pay attention to that bass response and the articulation as well. like the tone comparison as you could see I did one with and without a backing track for each pickup leave a comment below if you want to tell me which one you thought sounded better feel free to like and subscribe and look forward to more posts in the future for a variety of topics it won't just be guitar it'll be pretty much whatever I'm trying to tap into to create a social media presence wish me luck guys and catch you on the flip side Oh, this thing's gonna sound crazy.